on today's episode. Stuck in Birmingham. Oh yeah. All right, let's get the video started. This is Mississippi passing the Toyota plant, man. Wow. Mississippi, guys. It's 26 degrees out here. This is what it looked like right now. About 60 miles from Memphis. Made it to Memphis, West Memphis. Now we at the Southland Casino. What it do? Oh yeah. We parked up, man. We done made it through this. We made it to Memphis, man. That's all we want to do is make it to Memphis, man. Look, yeah. I'm gonna get the blowtorch on that. Well, that shit frozen, boy. All right. It's the floor, man. It's actually not crowded because of the snowstorm. Check it out if you're ever in Memphis. Boy, it's empty because of the snow. Worked out perfect for us. Southland Casino. If you're ever in Memphis, come check it out, man. Real good food, everything. What's up, YouTube? We're back with another video, man. We're back with another episode on the channel, man. Do me a favor, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Man, it's been a long day, man. It took us forever and ever to get to Memphis. I'm burnt out. I said, man, I'm going to stay tonight here. I had plenty of time left for my clock, man. I had about five hours left, but, man. I said, man, screw that, man. I, I need to go chill, man. Hold on. Let me, let me get y'all right, man. Let me get y'all right, man. I said, yeah, man, I need to go chill, man. And goddamn, real quick, man, I had somebody ask me, what that dude asked me? He said, how long... How you been in trucking? And then the other answer to what he was like, well, how long do you think you're going to be in trucking? So today's video is about how long you should stay in trucking. Now, obviously, it's going to be a different answer depending on who you are, your life situation, health-wise. You know, you got kids, you got a wife. But uh, for the most part, I think I can give a pretty general answer to that response um, to his question. Um how long should you stay in trucking before you move on to something else? Me personally, I'ma say most stuff you gotta give three years, but in trucking, I'ma say give it five to ten years. Um after ten years, man, whatever you done made, you done made. If you ain't make no investments in ten years, shame on you, man. Now, I know I'm gonna piss a lot of people off of that video. Y'all was hating on the one last week. But I'm speaking my mind. I think you should be in trucking five to 10 years. After that, you gonna be what you gonna be. If you ain't got no hustle about you, you ain't you ain't making YouTube, you ain't doing investment in stock, you ain't buying no real estate, your kids ain't got bigger, and you ain't making another baby 10 years apart from another kid, you just bad with money. In 10 years, you ain't come up in trucking, 
Bro, I don't know how you super truckers be doing it 30, 40, 20. Oh, I've been in trucking 25 years. Bro, bro. Oh, I've been in Swift for 20, for 10 years. Bro, y'all are tripping, man. No disrespect to the dudes that have been doing it for 20 some years. Got their own truck, yada, yada, yada. I get all that. Listen, bro. If you ain't got no motion, you need to get your ass out the ocean. Now, five years is on the low end, 10 years on the high end. Five years, you get your feet wet, get your experience, go company lease on the op, or you get up high up enough for salary as a company driver, you know, and you can move around, make some investments, you know, flip a few things. Now, granted, like I tell you, like I always preach to y'all, I got stuff going on outside of trucking. So all you super truckers in the comments, Oh, I made two this, two that. Hey, bro, look here, man. Just chill. Like, at the end of the day, you only making what you make with your hands. If you ain't making money in your sleep, don't talk about it. Don't come over and talk about you made 250 or oh, I grossed 250 on my truck. How much did you really take home? About 120, 130 after taxes and expenses. If that. But I got off sidebar. But five to ten years man you need to you need to figure out a new move man you new drivers just at cds school you guys at these uh feeder companies come in the game me personally i'm gonna say go flatbed with no experience go flatbed don't even waste your time with driver in a reefer unless it's food service food service them boys making bands you're gonna work out but them boys making bands or you're doing ltl or you're doing feeder truck which is not you know the easiest um, but other than that, this standard driving reefer, bro, you know, everybody can't be just trucking. Shout out to my boy, Justin. He make it look cool. But for the most part, uh, based off of you live in the South, man, you try to make some money out the gate, go flatbed. Um, get your feet in, go do specialized, go do heavy haul, go do tanker, do hazmat. Don't be sitting around doing the same thing for X amount of time. Move around. Like uh, that boy Anthony TV said, Trucking is the, I think he said it to somebody. I want to say he said it. Don't quote me. I'm not sure. I think he said it, though. Trucking is the only industry where you can move job to job fast and make more money than the last job. A lot of other places, you're going to come in an entry level, right? But in trucking, it's based off experience and road time. So you could be here one year, next year, jump to the next, and you're going up 5 10 20% in pay. Only a company, only profession like that doing it, unless you're in the NFL or NBA. Only profession doing that is trucking. Um, five to ten years is a good time. If you got kids, don't take their whole life with you on the road. Whether you with their mom or not, don't don't let your kid be eighteen and you done been out here fourteen years, bro. That ain't p. That ain't p. Especially you OTR guys is out two, three, four weeks, man. Listen, you can't get that time back. I don't care how much money you make. Oh, I made two grand a week. Do the home. Hey, listen, bro. You LTL and you local guys got to stop the cap. You know you you know you making sacrifices everybody can't have the gravy route okay so stop with the cat we all sacrifice out here i make sacrifices the dude watching this the dude the dude you send the link to he making sacrifice and if you in trucking that trucking is what it is you're gonna have days that ain't good so stop the cap you need to give yourself a time frame if you got an old lady yeah she down to sacrificing but she don't deserve to have you on the road for 20 years you need to go live that life for her, man. Find you something local. You home every day. You go out and do painting with a twist. You do pottery classes. You know you go. You know you go to the beach with. Her. You go bowling with your old lady, man. You date her. Don't be in this truck. 15, 20 years and time life done pass you by. Your kids grown. My kids grown. Yeah, bro, that ain't play, bro. You you bad. Your health bad. You shape. You out of shape. You know we all go through them ups and downs in trucking. Why health bad and we out of shape? We all got to struggle with that, man, because we sitting in the truck for so long. But five to ten years as a totality is about all you need in trucking, man. Then you need to get out and do something else. Now, you used to be able to go buy a truck and start your fleet, start a company, but the way the economy is now, that ain't going to happen no time soon. That's a pipe dream. The dispatch and broker thing, that ain't going to happen no time soon. That's a pipe dream. Truckers are getting smart. They don't need dispatchers no more. Why we need a broker? I can broker my own loads. Unless you got direct shipment connects, I will get my own connects. Um, Got to have that talk game. Five to ten years, man. That super trucker pipe dream. You stay in trucking 15, 20 years, bro. Bro, you need to do something with your money. I promise you. Don't just live. Don't be dependent on that 401k like I keep trying to tell y'all. Get in. Get out. See America. Do something else. Okay.
I've been trucking. I've had my CDS since 2013. I'm going to do a video about my life to bring y'all up to speed, but I'm going to tell y'all this. But I've been, I have, I've had my CDS since 2013. I did not pay for my CDL. I got the military. I got it sponsored. I ain't, I, I ain't had to pay nothing back. Um, I didn't get out on the road and start messing with the big trucks until like 2020 when COVID hit. I got bored at my government job. Um, you guys, I've been doing it, so I'm going on, it'll be four years in June. You guys got to figure it out. You know, don't be trying to play catch up your last three, four years when the first two, three years you've been trucking, you should have been stacking it. Yeah, you wasn't making the most, but you should have been a greenhorn and stacking your chips. You need to stop trying to keep up with the Joneses back at the house. You on this road, focus on this road. Um, Yeah, man, five to 10 years, you can't run up a bag. You should every year. You should be able to stack a 10 piece at least. I don't care if you local or whatever. If you talking all that money shit in my comments, you better be stacking a 10 piece every year, minimum. So in five years, you should have at least 50 bands cash. Uh, in 10 years, you should have 100 bands cash saved on your own. Now, remember what I told y'all how I felt about saving liquid cash. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Put it in a broker's account. If you ain't gonna buy no stock, cool. Everybody ain't knowledgeable about stocks. Put it in a broker's account. This is financial advice pertinent to trucking and travel trucker. I'm not an expert. Don't quote me on that. But still, you need to have 10000 for every year that you're in trucking. If you can't save 10 bands, you need to go to another job. Okay, I don't care where you're working at. If you can't save 10, you need to go to another job. Now, I'm going to give you all the first year, year and a half, you need to move around. You can't run up a 10 ball. Now, granted, when I say you new truckers need to save 10000 whether that's in trucking, your social media, investments, this save you a brick. Remember I told you about that brick? A 10 ball. Um, you get in and you get out, you go invest in real estate, you go buy a detailing business, you go do a pool cleaning business, you open up a mechanic shop, uh, you reinvest it in the, in, the, in the other stuff. But man, man, listen, don't spend your whole life as a trucker, bro. That's like somebody saying they're gonna spend their whole life in the NBA. Why do you think they always retire? Cause they wanna go live they wanna go live the life. Yeah, they make a lot of money. It's like trucking, but you got the grind. You married to the grind. You playing 82 games, training camp, you got obligations. You ain't never gonna be able to enjoy Christmas and none of that stuff with your kids because you always gotta play on you on the road. So you gotta think, you know, what's really worth it? Is money worth more than family? No. That's why I say five to ten years. Get what you're going to get and get the hell up out of there. Like I say, 10 years is pushing it. Five years is ideal for me. So, you new guys, again, don't never let me deter you from getting in trucking. Get in trucking, get your money, get the hell up out of there. Five to 10 years, and that's it, man. Stop where you're going to stop. Whatever you got, that's what you got. Don't be trying to go, oh, I'm going to go one more year on the road and run it back up. No, 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 no. Be smart with your chicken, bro. But that's all, man. I'm going to the casino, eat something to eat. It's cold as hell in Memphis. I'm in West Memphis. Right now, it's 8 degrees, but it's all good, man. We're going to get this money, and we're going to eat and lay down, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Travel Trucker, I'll see y'all on the next one.